What will be the raddest new music trend in 2009? If it doesn't involve a Jonas Brothers spit roasted, I say why bother? For the answer to that question, though, and more, I go to the brilliant music journalist and webmaster of MarkPrindle.com, and get this, his name is Mark Prindle. How did that happen? Oh. What a coincidence. I don't know. So, Mark, apart from no more whistling, mm -hmm. do you have any other music-related resolutions for the new year? Yes, I was feeling bad about being so out of touch with all the hip Young yes. new bands that everyone was talking about. So I decided I would try to hear every one of them yeah. by going on uh, News Corps MySpace <laughs> yeah, and nice. um, listening to four or five tracks from each of them. In just the past few weeks, I've listened to 140 new bands. Really? Wow. And uh, since I lost my job today, <laughs> oh, no. that number will be increasing oh, probably. Wow. Congratulations. You're one of like. You're gonna have know. a lot of free time. You're gonna yeah, have. Yeah, no, we're right. gonna watch Red Eye. Oh, no, right. Uh, no, yeah. uh, yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. assuming his job is lost. Yeah. Yet he hasn't checked. Now, of all these acts that you listened to, which were good? About five of them. Five out of yeah. 140. Yeah, I would say I liked uh, Marnie Stern a lot. Yeah. You know Marnie Stern. Yeah, kind of. You know, like a female Eddie Van Halen that sounds a little bit like Alanis Morissette on pills. She sounds to me like Milk Banana or something. Yeah. Really, just crazy music. I like the editors. Mm -hmm. You like editors, right? I have their first album. Mm -hmm. They're a British band. They're like a better version of Interpol. Mm -hmm. Well, this new album, actually, I, I like it, but I have a hard time kind of recommending it because basically the only difference between their new album and Coldplay mm -hmm. is that I hate Coldplay. Yes. Which isn't a very ringing endorsement yeah, for the editors. Well, yeah, you hate Cold, I hate Coldplay because he married Gwyneth Paltrow. I just think they're kind of boring. I don't like the man's voice. Yeah, it's true. It's very mm -hmm. whiny. Mm -hmm. Cry baby. Give me your list... I'm listening to a new band face. Listening to a new, yeah. Okay, like, here you go. <laughs> I like that. That's good. That's wow. very good. That's impressive. Now, how many free CDs do you get? Do you get a lot of stuff? I don't get any free in the main. I mean, I get a lot of free off the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but legally <laughs> free, yeah, I don't get any. No, no. You, you, no. What, what say you have TV on the radio? It's a huge critical okay. success. Yes, it is. Uh, with Dear Science, your latest mm -hmm. album, and it's topped many a critic's list. Overrated, underrated? What do you think? I think overrated, but the real problem, it's actually Spin and Rolling Stone named it number one album of the year. Um, I liked their last album better myself. This one, the only problem I have with it is that Rolling Stone magazine specifically said this is the best rock album of 2008. Yeah. There's only one rock song yeah. on the album. Yeah. The rest is soul and funk and R&B, sounds like Prince, some YouTube ballads. Yeah. It's almost like Rolling Stone said, geez, number one. Mick Jagger didn't put out an album this <laughs> yeah, year. Exactly. Like someone break into spin and they, find out what they, they put. They can't do the Bob Dylan bootlegs again. They just yeah. can't. So they got to go with uh, TV on the radio. Isn't it true that most of the young bands seem to be uh, mimicking bands from previous generations? I think it's just all. There's so much nostalgia that is being that the yeah. critics are saying is really great. Like the the '60s R&B thing. I, I don't know if it started with uh, Amy Winehouse, mm -hmm. but it certainly continued with Kate Nash and Duffy. And there's this Raphael Sadiq guy. Mm -hmm. there's the music sound you hear it and go. Wow, that sounds just like 60s R&B. Yeah. And then you hear it again and go, I think I'll go listen to some 60s R&B. But yeah, but here's the thing. It's, it, is this kind of complaint that everything sounds like something that came before it? A complaint from old people like us? And so I'm sure Mozart, Mozart said the same thing about Beethoven. Mm. No, because there's also, <laughs> there's, there's bands doing that. There's bands doing 70s disco, like Hercules and Love, uh, Hercules and Love Affair and Cut Copy. Yeah. The thing about disco, I mean, there's a reason it, it died right. in the first place. Secondly, no. maybe God just doesn't like disco. Ah, interesting. Ah. Like, you say something positive about the Jonas Brothers. There must be something to say. Their last album. Their last album? Yeah. It ends? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. Thank you, Mark Brindle. I actually saw them perform live on New Year's Eve. Yes, I did. I was, no, they were gorgeous. They're like little puppies without hair. Yeah, all right. The website is markprindle.com. We'll close things out with a post-game wrap-up from TV's Andy Levy. And then, after that, we'll give you a